Okay, so I'd like to welcome you to the University of Limerick Sports Arena, which is the facility here behind us. Um, UL Sport is synonymous with uh, student life, and what we do is it's central on campus because we believe that we have something to offer everyone, whether it's competitive or at a recreational level for all students. So my name is Noreen O'Connell and what I look after here on campus is the student sport aspect of engagement and also the high performance students so the sports scholarship program will be a big part of my remit here. Okay, so from a sports facilities point of view, this is one of the five facilities that we have, four are on campus, and then we have one in the Killaloo Adventure Centre. So here on campus, we have the arena behind us, which is housing the 50 metre pool, the sports hall, the climbing wall, and we have fitness studio and the gym in there as well. Then on the north campus, we have uh, 3G pitches, south campus has 3G pitches and natural grass. And then we have the boathouse on campus as well, which is situated right beside the river. And it's the first indoor tank that was put in in the country. Just on the climbing wall, it's the highest wall in the country. It's 18 metres high inside and it's 21 metres high outside, so it's the highest one and the only one that high in a university across the country. From the point of view of the sports scholarships, we have sports scholarships for all sports. Um, you don't have to have your sport on campus to apply for a sports scholarship. We offer them to all. So what they do is it'll open on the 3rd of January and it closes on the 1st of March. You apply online via the UL website and there's an application online there that you fill up. And what they're looking for is basically um, your achievements to date and your aspirations going forward. They are then reviewed by subject matter experts within that sport and they're shortlisted and people are called for interview and then based on your interview you're either offered a scholarship um, going forward. It's important to note that if you don't get a scholarship in first year you can also apply in second, third and fourth year as we review them every year. Um, so when you get your scholarship you only get it for the 12 months per se. You have to apply again in second year and so on. Um, there is no reduced points entry here in UL so you must get the points coming into the course for the CEO course you're applying um, and once you are a full-time registered student you can apply uh, for any scholarship that's going in relation to sports. Currently we have 18 sports covered with the scholarships and we have 98 sports scholarship athletes across those 18 disciplines. Uh, we offer gold, silver and bronze. There's three different levels. So the bronze is valued at approximately 1,500 euro. The silver is valued at approximately 5,000 and the gold scholarship is valued at 10,000 euro. And then it's dependent on your interview, your application, where you are in your sport and then how the panel reviews it as to what scholarship you're offered. So when you apply for your scholarship, you just apply for the sport scholarship and it's reviewed by the committee as to what level scholarship you potentially will be offered. So here now we have some of our sports scholarship students who are going to have a chat with you. So we have Claire Bennett who's a fourth year and she's one of our rugby scholarships. We have Finn McGeever who's a third year and Finn is a swimming scholar. And then we have Connor Coughlin who is a first year and he is one of our basketball scholars. Hi, my own name is Connor Coughlin. Uh, I'm studying sport and exercise science here in UL. Um, I, I play wheelchair basketball and I'm also a wheelchair basketball scholar here in UL. Uh, so the main reason I chose to come to UL was, uh, first off, they have the best uh, sports facilities in Ireland, I think, anyway, and everything's very accessible, especially for my sport. They have, they have rec courts, and I think it's just it's an unreal campus. I also uh, love the course that I'm doing. I think it's unreal. So as soon as I saw it on the CAO, I was saying I have to do it, and share money from Quark as well, so it's only up the road. So yeah, it suits me ideally. So um, with my course, usually I have classes during the day, which isn't too bad. And then I have a period where I can do my study. And then usually I come to the course at night. Uh, you also have other, other facilities around here, like the swimming pool, which is amazing. You know, just after a hard training session, relax with the muscles. So yeah, it's, it's not too bad to balance out. I'm only first year as well, so I can kind of do more sport this year, but it'll get more serious as time goes on. So, uh, well, my sport anyway, I think the main facility that I use and love the most has to be the courts. There's, uh, there's four courts inside there and they're amazing. Like the court, the court, like the chair glides on the court. It's so like they got a brand new court floor and the whole lot. It's amazing. The baskets are top tier as well. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's amazing. So it, the courts have to be number one for me. So uh, <laughs> my favorite thing about UL, I'd say it has to be the UL Arena. 
or else in Kermurray Village there's great crack in the boat, so yeah, I love coming to boat. Hi, my name is Finn McGeever and I'm on a sports scholarship program in UL. And as you can see, the arena is behind me. This is where I train every day and uh, I'm a competitive swimmer. I'm a third year student in maths and physics in UL. Uh, I chose to come to UL because I knew it had kind of groundbreaking sports facilities, like we have an Olympic pool behind us now, a huge gym and loads of basketball courts and astroturfs around the place. It's just sports orientated and I like the course that they offered as well. They offer tons of courses and uh, yeah, this one is just the perfect fit for me. I find balance in my course and training there. Uh, pretty easy here in UL because lectures, they will accommodate you if you're on a sports scholarship program for uh, you know training and whatnot. A lot of them put their notes and videos up online so you can you can look at them in your spare time and you know they won't mark you for attendance if you explain your situation. So it's it's really handy, they're really easy going here in UL and they they um, accommodate you well. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit biased, but my favourite facility in the whole campus is going to be the pool there behind me. Big 50 metre pool, so, and we got a diving 25 metre pool behind it. So if the 50 metre pool is full or being taken up for anything, we can train in the short course pool. I went to Tokyo for the 4 by 200 metre freestyle relay, and uh, we came 14th and it was the greatest experience of my life. I, I absolutely loved it. And um, gives you a lot of motivation to try and go again. Yeah, yeah getting the scholarship in UL definitely helped towards my performance in sport. Like we have seminars every year, so they talk to us about sleep, nutrition, it's just kind of, just ways to help and improve our training. And they, uh, they help fund your accommodation as well. And uh, yeah, they're just, they're great here. They, they uh, help for exams as well. So if you ever need exams moved, you can uh, contact Noreen. They'll get onto your lectures and you can get exams moved if you have any competitions coming up during the exam period. So yeah, they're very accommodating here in UL. Uh, hi, my name is Claire Bennett. I'm in fourth year in the Bachelor of Science Psychology and I play women's rugby. Uh, so there's a few reasons why I chose to come to UL. Uh, first of all, the course itself, psychology. Uh, it's a four-year course and in a lot of other colleges it's three years. So this fourth year allows us to travel abroad on Erasmus and get placement as well. And then of course you can't look past the sports facilities in UL and as well the clubs, uh, the rugby clubs in the local community as well are of really high standard. So there was no other choice really. Um, yeah, so UL Sport were great to help me with my co-op placement as well. I was eager to stay around Limerick to keep training as much as I could, so I was based in the study abroad office in UL. Uh, so it was always going to be tough to balance sport and college work at the same time, but I thought the management and all of you sport were really helpful yeah. um, in terms of communication as well between, say, the, my club that I play with as well as the college team have been great. And the organisation from all the management teams allows me to make a plan for myself and uh, communicate that with my lecturers as well so I can have everything organised and ready to go. Um, my favourite facility in UL Sport is over in the North Campus. It's the 4G Rugby Pitch. I have some great memories there throughout the years. We trained for our college team there and I played our matches with UL Bowes there as well. Um, it's a great pitch and it allows for a really fast paced game as well. My favourite spot in UL Campus, uh, there's a lot to choose from, but in particular I really like uh, the Living Bridge, especially at night. It lights up and it's nice to go for a walk around there as well. Hi, uh, so welcome to the UL Arena. Myself and Finn are going to give you a quick tour around if you'd like to follow us. Uh, 
Okay, so here we are on the indoor running track. And if you look down here beside me, we have four multi-use courts for different sports. And at the minute, it's set up for the National Taekwondo competition. Uh, so it's used for different events throughout the year as well. All right, so next we're just heading out to the gallery so we can overlook the pool and I'll show you around the pool. All right, so this is where the bread is made. Uh, 50 meter pool, 10 lanes, 25 meters wide. We've got a uh, four lifeguard chairs, two on each side in the middle. And out the back, you can see there's a little 25 meter four lane diving pool. So the ground can be lowered and uh, there's a 1.5 meter and a three meter diving board. All right, now we're gonna take you downstairs outside and we'll show you some outdoor facilities. All right, now we're uh, back in reception. We're gonna head out to the outdoor facilities. So follow us. Right, so to my left, you can see the 400 meter international running track. It was recently resurfaced and uh, it caters for all uh, field and track events. And as you can see, there's an inner field. That's where Monster Rugby train. All right, we're gonna head into the climbing wall next, just to my right. Right, so we're in the climbing facilities and as you can see, it is absolutely massive. It's the tallest facility in Ireland. It's 18 meters high at the peak. And uh, if you see here, there's an Olympic standard speed wall. There's also other activities on offer like um, lead climbing, top roping, bouldering and abseiling. And for the more professional wall climbers, there's a moon board to the side. All right, guys, that's us. Hope to see you next year.